Yeah, Jess, absolutely. KIMT News 3 has been covering this story since it happened on Saturday. Highway 14 is right behind me. It's known as 12th Street Southwest here in town. Let's give you a little better picture of what happened. So you see this intersection right here. You see that motorcycle? So the State Patrol trooper was in that lane heading east. And if you look over, you can see a white, a white car, like a hatchback of sorts. And that is where the Ford Focus was turning into the mall. And that is when the two collided. And then right over here, you can see leading out of the mall, you can see this black vehicle. That is where the third vehicle was and it was pushed into the ditch. And so those were the three vehicles that were involved. So the Rochester Police Department forensic mapping unit is still investigating this case, looking at things like skid marks, how fast were all the vehicles going, and also what color was the light when it happened. And once we learn more from them, Jess, we of course will share more information on air and online, but ultimately a life was lost in this crash. 18 year old Olivia Flores. So that is um, basically the takeaway, unfortunately, from this incident. I'll send it back to you. Thanks. And Cammie, if I can hang on to you for a second. Do we know at this point if anyone's at fault? It, it does sound like the investigation is ongoing, but given the direction of travel, the skid marks during this investigation, have Rochester police released any information about the cause or who's at fault? No, Jess, at this point, it can only be speculation, right? We've only been told those details from RPD, and we're going to wait for more information from the forensic mapping unit because they are still looking at all those different details. When I was out here on Saturday, there was a drone up in the air taking a look at all the different skid marks on the road. They were spraying paint on the road, looking at who could have been at fault. So at this point, we're just waiting for more information. All right. Thank you so much, Cammy. And we will continue to bring you the latest details about this investigation. So make sure you stay with us on air and on our KIMT News 3 app as this story develops.